PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, if you would. That's essentially what this test boils down to. Yesterday, I gave you some definitions to notations. Basically, I introduced you to the f of x, where instead of saying y equals 3x plus 2, it'll say f of some number equals 3x plus 2, and then you substitute in that number for x. That's the easy part. Anybody can say... I'm going to turn that x into this number. The hard part is then solving this side of the equation. And to do that, you need to follow PEMDAS. So I'm going to talk to you about PEMDAS maybe a little bit differently than the way you've heard it before. And the way you've heard it before is parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So instead of writing down multiply and divide, because I know you know what MD means, I wrote left to right. That means you don't necessarily multiply before you divide. You work left to right. So let me give you an example of a common mistake. 18 divided by 2 times 3. If you strictly follow PEMDAS and you say, I have to multiply before I divide, then you would multiply the 2 times the 3 because you're multiplying first, and then you would divide and your answer would be 3. But if you just work left to right, and you consider multiplying and dividing equal to each other, so you just work left to right, then you get 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. You get a totally different answer. So which one's right? This one's right. Because multiply and divide are equal to each other. You don't have to multiply before you divide. You have to work from left to right. So it is not, in fact, 3. It is 27. All right, and the same thing goes with add and subtract. You don't necessarily have to add before you subtract. You just have to work left to right. So with that being said, The problems that I want you to do today in the do section are just practice on order of operations. Order of operations is really what PEMDAS is. If you see a standard that says order of operations, PEMDAS is just an acronym to get you to remember what order to do your operations in. So all the problems you see today are not going to have the function symbol and they're not going to tell you what to put in for x. The number's already been put in for x for you. And then you just have to do order of operations and come up with the correct number. So let me give you one more example of what you might see. Because you might see exponents, you might see parentheses. In fact, you will see all that. So let's just go uh, 10 times the quantity of 4 minus 7 squared plus 2. All right, if you see something like this, you might want to distribute first. That might be your first instinct. Because on the last test, when we were solving for x, that was the first thing I told you to do, was get rid of those parentheses, distribute. All right, but that's not what we're going to do here. You want to follow order of operations, and parentheses is the first one. So you're on the right track if you want to distribute because you're trying to get rid of your parentheses. But really, parentheses means do everything you can inside the parentheses first. And you can do 4 minus 7 because those are like terms. There are no variables with that. So that's what you want to do first here. So parentheses means do what's inside the parentheses. So you would get 10 times negative 3 squared plus 2. Now, you still might want to do 10 times negative 3 and come up with negative 30. But if you did that, 10 times 3 is multiplying. That's the M in PEMDAS. You forgot about the E in PEMDAS, the exponent. So it all comes down to PEMDAS. you got to do the exponent before you multiply. So negative 3 squared, anything squared, you're just multiplying it by itself. So negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. 
And hopefully you remember that a negative times a negative is a positive. So negative 3 squared is actually positive 9, not negative 9. So now you have 10 times 9 plus 2. Now you can multiply. All we have left is multiply and add. And multiply does come before add. Plus it's also left or right. So it would be hard to mess this one up. So you get 90 plus 2. And your answer, therefore, is 92 for this one. 92 is the answer. If you don't follow order of operations, if you distribute first, or if you get to this point here and you say that's negative 30 squared, negative 30 squared is 900. You're going to get the wrong answer. You're going to get something way too big. Your distributing is going to mess you up there as well. So order of operations, kind of review. You guys have been doing order of operations since grade school. But, hey, we missed fourth quarter, so sometimes it's good to do some review. So hopefully these problems today won't be too difficult for you. You're welcome.